This is good. Man, that hit the spot. Okay, so we're going to talk about knives today. And we're not talking about Emo Joy, the brand of knives that makes emos everywhere rejoice. They'll cut fine once or twice, and after that, it's kind of hard to get a good result out of it. These are for steaks. We're going to talk about your favorite type of knives, your slitty, slashy, pointy stabbies, surprise friends that you can use to, I don't know, engage in bushcraft, maybe do some light breaching, and uh, extricate yourself from uh, less than desirable situations. Um, we're going to start right here with uh, this guy. Uh, this is made by a friend of mine uh, who runs the Instagram page and owns the business. Abaddon Knives. Abba, like the, the Swedish supergroup. Um, you know, you should watch Eurovision. It's a fantastic movie. Um, uh, yeah, what can we say about this knife? Uh, this is one of his, uh, I guess you could call it now, vintage models. Um, ships with good Kydex, um, does not ship with this hardware, but it is fantastic. I can tag the hardware manufacturer in the link. It, it basically allows you to, you know, attach it to whatever you want. As long as you have this little guy, you can put it on Molly, you can put it on your belt. I carry this every day, everywhere I go in uniform. And, uh, it has been out to the field. It has been my, my favorite knife. Uh, for field situations, and it's a honk and chonker. Um, basically, what's going to happen is, is you're going to send him a message, and you're going to be like, yo, have it on knives. I want a knife. And you're going to tell him that you want a Hunter Killer one. This is his flagship model. And he's going to ask you for the measurement of your hand, and uh, it, it's, it's a phenomenal knife. Uh, he's a Navy EOD guy, and uh, basically wanted an all-around tool that he could use for everything. Uh, in his line of work and in the fact that it's again designed by an end user um, it really just showcases very well when you actually go to use it uh, thick thick and uh, just feels so good in the hand very well balanced beautiful wood scales brass pins for uh, corrosion resistance it originally had a black finish similar to what you see along the spine here um, but uh, I have used the piss out of this thing and I have worn it clean off. I need to send it in for a spa day. Had this done with a custom engraving of an American flag on one side. And because of the infantry, follow me on the other side. Absolutely love it. And uh, yeah, hit him up. He'll do some great work for you. Uh, he now has an option for leather sheets, which are pretty badass. And uh, I need to get myself one of those. And you need to get one of these knives and one of his leather sheets too. Also, um, on, on the vein of this mutual fire support mission, uh, if you may, we need to peer pressure and bully the piss out of him into making t-shirts because he's got some really cool stuff that he could put on the t-shirts. Up next is, uh, uh, my, my favorite combo, uh, you and the guy she told you not to worry about, uh, made by Stroop Knives, Stroop, Stroop Knives, and, uh, I am so freaking stoked about these. Uh, this right here is a, a mini, and it is like the perfect little three-finger blade, but if you grip it tight like this, you can get four fingers on it. Um, just a great little everyday carry companion. Just beautiful. It looks like it would be at home on like a primitive, you know, hunter-gatherer um, as much as it does on a modern-day warrior's battle belt or plate carrier or just, you know, the mall ninja who needs to learn how to take a shower um, and put on some deodorant. I mean, anybody would be happy with this knife is what I'm saying. And uh, this little guy right here is the smaller version of the new Bravo 5 knife, which I'm very excited about. The Bravo 5 knife, um, you're going to see this on uh, SEAL Team uh, this coming season. Uh, Justin Melnick, um, he uh, collaborated with uh, Stroop and they went ahead and uh, basically scaled up uh, the Mini. And this wood handle variant is the one that's going to be featured on the show. Uh, it's got a pretty cool uh, dog skull on the opposite end, or opposite side of the blade, opposite his manufacturer's mark. And again, it's just got this beautiful finish right here. Just gorgeous. Looks fantastic. 
buy these knives right now. Because once he gets featured on the show, everybody's going to want to know who's carrying what. And then you're going to start seeing product sales um, being driven by the knife. And um, while he makes phenomenal knives, he doesn't charge a lot of money for them. They're very affordable. And uh, you're going to probably see price go up as the demand goes up for these knives because they're just freaking phenomenal tools. Absolutely love them. Uh, they both ship with Kydex. Uh, this uh, Bravo 5 ships with a tech lock. I used a spare shock cord I had to add a little extra layer of uh, retention as this is a knife that I have uh, playing double duty on my, uh, my plate carrier and uh, as well as my battle belt thanks to the ease of uh, maneuverability and, and, and just being able to swap it out because of this little tech lock uh, clip. And uh, again, you're probably not gonna see another wood handled mini. Um, this one fell into my lap and I couldn't be happier. Um, just a little phenomenal knife, both of them are. We've also got um, my absolute everyday companion everywhere I go, um, especially when I'm going to the gym. And uh, this right here is made by the Crooked Knife Company. It is the Lex T. It is a name that's derived from Latin, uh, which translates to the law of retaliation. This is a tool that doesn't pretend to be anything other than what it is. Um, it's got some of the most aggressive jimping I've seen. You can buy this knife um, in a Cerakote finish or this really cool just, just nude finish, and each knife is unique. Um, mine is number 117. I had to have it because, one, I've been looking for something like this. I got very excited when I saw it at Blade Show and uh, was able to chat with the guys uh, from the Crooked Knife Company and they were excited that I was excited and when we got to talking about it, it was like, oh man, it's refreshing to talk to guys who know what they're talking about and know what they're designing this tool for. Um, it's got a very simple paracord wrap around it. Like I said, the jimping is super aggressive. It supports a forward grip uh, as well as a reverse grip. It's not going anywhere. It gets locked into your hand once it's there. Incredibly sharp, incredibly sharp knife very corrosion resistant. I've gone on many multiple mile runs in the Georgia humidity and been absolutely drenched. And I go days without actually taking the knife out to clean it. Um, I have a trainer for it as well. If you're gonna buy this knife, I highly recommend that you buy it with a trainer because if you don't, you're not gonna get any good repetition in with it. And while it seems like it's a very intuitive tool, whether you're using it as a neck knife, which I like to use it as, or if you're gonna mount it to your belt, um, which I would honestly recommend over the neck knife. I just prefer to have the neck knife because when I'm at the gym, it's very convenient to be able to have that and not have to worry about you know switching out my, my retention method. Um, it, it's Kydex sheath is lined with uh, suede and it utilizes a rare earth magnet to help with additional uh, level of retention here. And uh, it just comes out super quick and easy and uh, it's, 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 like I said, it's not pretending to be anything other than what it is. It's a tool that's designed to get you out of a bad situation and put enough distance between you and your attacker as they deal with whatever you inflict upon them per the law of retaliation. And finally, we've got two little dudes here. Um, not quite so little and nice little mini guy. Um, these are some pretty badass, uh, breaching tools. Uh, they're manufactured by EOD Robotics. They're titanium, so they're very lightweight, and uh, they're anodized, this awesome color, shade of tan. I went and I wrapped this paracord thing up so that I could have you know a good grip on it, and uh, if I need to use it, I can just let it drop and, and go hands-free. Um, this is a tool that has so many freaking uses, it's not even funny. If you want it, I guess you could really sharpen it to a razor edge and maybe get it carbided um, so that you uh, you have some really just durable, durable hard use tools. Uh, mini one uh, kind of stays in my truck and uh, the larger one, uh, I keep it on my kit in my Free State Gear uh, Alpha panel and uh, just sits there waiting for whatever use I might need to use it for. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it's a pretty niche tool, but 
the potential that you have to use this for whatever you want to use it is, is fantastic and, and as a breaching tool um, it's just great you know, just wedge it in there gap it punch it bend it and if it's not like a super hard reinforced door um, it'll work it'll do its job you know I went and I paracord wrapped them so they're a little more comfortable but uh, yeah that's all I got for you today and uh, until next time